Hey, welcome all to my channel. I want to make very important announcement that I have planned to launch a free course on ethical hacking that covers everything from basics to advanced. So make that you've been subscribed to my channel, which is too free of cost, and share this series with your friends to ensure they don't miss this opportunity for those who require it. This is my first video of the series Ethical Hacking, Basics to Advanced. In this video, I am going to teach you about one more type of cryptography that is DNA cryptography. It hides data in terms of DNA sequence. Just like the RSA and DES algorithms, in DNA cryptology users have DNA algorithms like 1. Public key system using DNA as a one-way function for key distribution 2. DNA SC cryptography system 3. DNA steganography systems Encryption algorithm is inspired by DNA and chaotic computing. I will demonstrate one example of DNA cryptography where you can see how a message is encoded and decoded using a simple substitution cipher. In this function, ndact, enter substituents for the same alphabets, which you have entered in the first line, which is message is equal to hello world. Enter substituents for each letter separately. For example, I have enter for H, TTGT, for E, GG, like so on. But sorry to have this, I have changed these substituents in the end part of the video due to some error, which I will discuss later on this video. You have to write for each letter and there's no other option, or you can copy same thing which I am performing in the video, or you direct copy them all from my official GitHub handle, provided in the pinned comment and in the video description too. Here we will define two functions for both encryption and decryption of the sample sentence or word, respectively, under which we will use for loop for each word to go under first encrypted and then decrypted. Follow all the steps sincerely as instructed in the video, else there is a high possibility of getting error in the program, both in the program and the output. Now the final step is to write print command to get the output.
Oh, sorry. I have forget to add characters text here. All of you who are watching till here do the same ad. Look, this was the point I was talking in the starting of the video. The substituents which we have added in the ENDICT is mismatched with the DCDICT. So now what I am updating you all guys all do the same. Don't worry, you will get all these codes from my GitHub handle. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like the video, else you will miss all the upcoming part of the video which will be based on the ethical hacking. We will together have fun.